Hello, I'm Youssef and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can make your very own plastic bottle basking shark. Plastic bottles are not very good for the environment. They can get into our oceans and cause a lot of harm to the creatures that live there. So this is a great way to reuse your old bottles. But just make sure to recycle them once you're finished. First things first, what will you need? You'll need some coloured paper, some sticky tape, preferably double sided but normal sticky tape will work fine, a pair of scissors, a permanent marker, some garden cane and of course a plastic bottle that's been washed out and had the label removed. The first thing you want to do is draw out where the mouth's going to go. Now basking sharks have absolutely massive mouths. I get told quite often that I've got a big mouth but these guys take it to a whole other level. In real life their mouths can be well over a metre in width which sounds like it'd be big enough to swallow a human right? But luckily for us they would never try to eat a human because despite their humongous mouths they actually eat tiny weeny animals called plankton. The next thing you want to do is actually cut out that mouth hole. So you're going to need some adult help for this because obviously scissors are sharp and also it's pretty tricky to cut into bottles. So you want to pierce the bottle and then cut along those lines you've just created. Now since this is a shark you might be tempted to give it a load of big pointy teeth. But basking sharks are a little bit different. They're what's known as filter feeders, which means they don't actually need to bite their prey. So instead of having loads of big pointy teeth, they actually just have loads of teeny tiny teeth that you can't really see. The next thing you want to do is cut off the bottom half of the bottle, because sharks don't really have flat bottoms like this, so we're going to have to make it look a little bit more shark-like. Again, be careful when using scissors to cut the bottle, make sure you ask for an adult's help. Ow, mummy. <laughs> There you go, and we don't need all these little scraps of plastic bottle now, so you can get rid of them, uh, but make sure to recycle them. Ow. Now you want to get your marker pen, oh. now you want to get your marker pen and draw on two eyes, one on each side. Now basking sharks have fairly large eyes, but their eyesight is pretty poor, and that's because they tend to rely more on their sense of smell to hunt for those plankton dinners. The next thing you want to draw on are the gills, and gills are extremely important to fish because it allows them to take oxygen out of the water and effectively breathe underwater. But basking shark gills perform an additional purpose. They trap and catch any plankton that finds its way into the shark's mouth as the shark is swimming through the water, and it's for this reason that basking sharks have five large gills on each side of their body. So you want to make sure you draw them nice and big. Cool. There we are five sets of gills. Now it's time to make the tail, and the tail is another important body part for the basking shark because it's the tail that powers the shark through the water and allows it to catch its plankton prey. For this shark I'm going to be using some pink paper and some yellow paper, but you can use whatever colour paper you like. For me I find it best to cut the A4 sheet of paper in half down the middle, like so. And then you want to cut each bit of paper into strips roughly about a centimetre in width. Once you've cut your strips of paper out, you then want to get your sticky tape because now we're going to be lining the bum end of the shark with sticky tape so that we can stick the tail onto the shark. So I'm going to be using double sided sticky tape because I just find it's easier to work with. But this will work with normal sticky tape if you want to do so as well. So you want to cut off a strip of tape that's roughly the circumference of the bottle and then because the tape's quite wide, I like to cut it down the middle into four. And this gives us the perfect width that we need for our shark. Okay, once you've done that, you want to place your sticky tape very carefully on the inside of the opening, all the way around the edge. And now you want to peel off the top layer of the double-sided tape so that you're revealing that sticky underneath. And this can be quite tricky if you've got short nails like me. You might need to get help from someone with longer nails. But eventually, if you persevere, almost, come off. Right, so now comes the fun bit. Now you want to stick on all these strips of paper you've made onto the shark to make the tail. So when you're placing the first one in, make sure that you cover the tape, so roughly about a centimetre in, and carefully place it like so. And for me, I'm going to be using two different colours, so I'm going to be alternating between the pink and the yellow. So after the yellow comes the pink. And I like to overlap each colour like this because it helps to build up a nice strong tail for the shark.
The final thing you're going to want to do is get your garden cane, make a small hole in the bottom of the shark, and then push the stick through the bottle. Sorry Mr Shark. Making the hole can be quite tricky, so again, make sure you get some adult supervision. Or help actually, get them to do it for you. Mum, get over here. Yeah. It's quite difficult. So we just about made that hole. <laughs> um, once you've made the hole, get your garden cane and push it through the bottom all the way up to the top, and there you have it, your very own plastic bottle basking shark. Ah! Ah! Now I've messed up the set. Now if you wanted to get even more creative, then you could have a go at making a plastic bottle basking shark out of a milk carton, or paint your basking shark to make it look even more realistic. If you do have a go at making your very own plastic bottle basking shark, then why not get in touch and let us know how you get on. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. Nom 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 nom